We were talking last time about prophets of the Assyrian crisis. We focused on, we've seen, we've talked about two of the northern prophets, Amos and Hosea. And we started talking about Isaiah, who was a southern prophet, a prophet in Judah. And we'll be talking now about the second southern prophet of the Assyrian crisis, and that is Micah, or Micha. And he's said to come from the town of Moreshet, which is about 25 miles southwest of Jerusalem. So he's in Judah. And he's the last of the 8th century prophets. He's quite different from the city-bred Isaiah. He seems to have been a rural prophet who spoke for the poor farmers. Now, he's prophesying in the second part of the 8th century, so 740 to about 700. He's attacking the, the northern kingdom. Although he's a southern prophet, he attacks Israel for idolatries and says that the kingdom will surely fall because of these. So he also follows the other prophets, as we've seen, in, in condemning the people for their moral failings, the greedy landowners, the dishonest merchants, the aristocracy. They're all targets of his denunciations, as are other leaders, the priests, the judges, the royalty, the royal house, as well as other false prophets. But the greatest contrast between Isaiah and Micah, so if you want to differentiate these two southern prophets of the Assyrian crisis in your mind, the greatest contrast lies in his view of the city as inherently corrupt. It's inherently sinful. It's inherently doomed to destruction. Isaiah had preached the inviolability of Zion, and Micah is sharply critical of the Davidic dynasty. He ridicules the idea of the inviol inviolability of Zion. He ridicules the belief that the presence of the sanctuary in Jerusalem somehow protects the city from harm. He says, on the contrary, that God will destroy his city and his house if need be. Micah 3, verses 9 through 12. Hear this, you rulers of the house of Jacob, you chiefs of the house of Israel, who detest justice and make crooked all that is straight, who build Zion with crime, Jerusalem with iniquity. Her rulers judge for gifts, her priests give rulings for a fee, and her prophets divine for pay. And yet they rely upon the Lord, saying, The Lord is in our midst. No calamity shall overtake us. Assuredly, because of you, Zion shall be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps of ruins, and the Temple Mount a shrine in the woods. Stark contrast then between, between Isaiah, who, who trusts and has confidence that God will never allow his holy city to be destroyed, his sanctuary to be destroyed, his presence in the midst of the city is guarantee that it will survive. And Micah says it's no guarantee of anything. One of the most famous passages in the book of Micah is in chapter 6, eight verses in chapter 6. And this is a passage that takes the form of a covenant lawsuit, which we've talked about before, the reeve. And the structure is as follows. The first two verses are the issuing of the summons, the summons to the case. So the prophet here is acting as God's attorney. And he summons the accused and he summons the witnesses. Those would be the mountains who are to hear case against Israel, God's case against Israel. Hear what the Lord is saying. Come, present my case before the mountains, and let the hills hear you pleading. Hear, you mountains, the case of the Lord, you firm foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a case, a lawsuit, against his people. He has a suit against Israel. So those are the opening verses, and in verses 3 to 5, we then move on to the plaintiff's charge, God's charge or accusation. And this is given again through the attorney. He appeals to Israel's memory of, of all of the events that have manifested his great love for her. That begins with the Exodus, of course, and continues with the entry into the Promised Land. And he says Israel seems to have forgotten all of these deeds that God has performed on her behalf and the obligations that those deeds obviously entail. Israel's conduct in response to this continuous benevolence on God's part is appalling. 